Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today is so freaking exciting, you guys. Ah, I can't. Like, I can't. Like, I can't. I can't. We're going to be doing eye swatches of the new Pure and Raw Beauty Christie collab, which I have the official PR box. I'm sorry. I can't, I'm like beaming. I've not been so excited to have something like... Ah, I can't remember the last time I was this excited about a PR package. Like, this is like so official, right? I just want to thank Raw Beauty Christie and Pure Minerals for sending this to me. I can't believe I made the list. Like, what? Little old me. And this came yesterday and I didn't even know. And I was up here filming something stupid. And then last night I was going to take out the trash while I was changing my cat's litter. Their litter room is like right next to our front door. And I'm like getting ready to change it. And I walk past the box and I'm like, what is this box? So I look at it and it says like, you know, Pure Minerals on it. And I was like, what? What? Because let me say, I did order it. I don't know what's going on with my order. I didn't receive a confirmation code, but it did take out of my bank account. So I emailed them. I haven't heard back yet. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But I knew this wasn't what I ordered because it was like here the next day. So I looked at I was like, Pure Minerals, what? And I was like, a loke? Did a Pure Minerals package come and you not tell me? And he was like, no, I just set it down. And I was pissed because I could have been filming this yesterday. I am so stoked. I mean, it's no secret. Robbie to Christie is just, how do you describe? someone who is so wonderful. I mean, let's be for real. She is an absolute sweetheart. Freaking hilarious. I love her content. I love her as a person. And she follows me on Twitter, which is just like next level. Really exciting. I'm trying not to fangirl too hard, you guys. But I'm like, at the end of the day, I always tell you, I am still just a fan of YouTubers and of makeup. And so if I'm ever included in like receiving a collab, I'm just like, I don't know what to do with myself. So we're going to be doing eye swatches today of this double-sided palette, which is such a cool concept, you guys. And I have a few details I want to talk about. I mean, of course, you have the most eye iconic packaging. I mean, all these things that Raw Beauty Christie loves. I can't, I can't even get into it. I mean, every little touch is so freaking brilliant. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. And this is cool because you have a colorful side and you have a neutral side. I know you guys have all seen this by now. It's like the talk of the town, but still, I'm excited. I want to talk about it. So can I tell you one aspect that I really love about this palette is I feel like I've seen double-sided palettes before. Maybe not necessarily eyeshadow palettes, but I've seen things like flip open and, and whatnot. Um, but what I love about about this and what makes this so original is I love that this side looks like it's the front of the palette and then when you flip it over this also looks like it's the front of the palette. I think that is such a nice detail especially because they could have easily just had one side like maybe the more neutral side uh, be like the front of the palette and then this would be the back with just like you know I don't know ingredients or trademarks or whatever the heck how most palettes look like on the back but no they went the extra step and they did two different sides and with different colored font this is a rose gold this one's more of a kind of like a holographic and it feels good. It's soft to the touch. I love the matte packaging with the black glossy imagery. Guys, she's a beauty. Is there a cafe disco? There's a cafe disco shade. Are you kidding me? Garden State? Like two of my favorite things. Garden State. I'm from New Jersey, but the movie Garden State. Love it. She has epilepsy. I feel for that. Um, <laughs> And The Office. You guys know The Office is literally my life. You're not my real dad. <laughs> Oh, Camilla looks amazing! Anyway, I'm sorry, I can't shut up. I'm so excited. We're gonna be doing eye swatches of both sides of this palette today. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm excited. What can I say? Let's just freaking get into it. And again, huge congratulations to Christy. I can't think of one influencer who deserves this right now more than Christy does. Christy has been such a joy in our lives for years now, but she's just someone, in my opinion, every time I see her, I just smile. She brightens my days. It's someone who I go to if I really need to pick me up. She's an amazing talented artist but also just an awesome chick like when do you want to be your best friend like for real so I'm just stoked I'm stoked out of my mind for Christy and I am stoked to try these colors let's get to it oh side note by the way this is like my third day my insert name here hair crimper hair I think it looks so good I just keep putting in I don't even know if they still make this anymore this is how old this is uh the Nexus City Shield DD cream I've had this for a long time and I love it I'm actually almost out of it I don't even know if it's still available these types of things like come and go all the time but yeah I just put that in and give it a little zhuzhi zhuzhi I'm obsessed with this hair crimper it feels so good not to have to like curl it every day I'm always curling it I love this anyway let's get started okay so the oh my dear god I forgot to zoom you beautiful bitches in hold on so to prep my eyelids you guys know I just use a little bit of concealer we're gonna start with the neutral side and we're starting with the shade that I'm probably most excited about and that is Camelot and we're gonna pop this on the lid I live for a good mustard I mean this whole side is like reeking of 
fall. I am so stoked. This is my Sigma E52 shadow brush. Like one of the best brushes in the world if you just want to get like a solid color on real fast. I mean, hi, Pigment, how are you? It's good to see you. This is gonna be such a beautiful transition shade. This is so, so pretty. I love this color. It's gonna be gorgeous in transitions. It's gonna be really fun to play with. And who doesn't love a good mustard, right? So there is the shade Camelot. The next shade is called It Just Does. It just does. Ooh, it's like a, makes me think of like strawberry daiquiris, you know? Mm, such a gorgeous matte. Mm, God, I love mattes. Is there anything better than an opaque, beautiful matte shadow? No. I mean, hi. Freaking gorgeous, right? It's vibrant. It's pigmented. It's matte. It is a dream. Wow. I can't believe how vibrant that is. That's actually really crazy. So yeah, you guys, there's this shade. It just does. The next shade is my... Oh, no. Oh, no. I accidentally hit another shadow. <laughs> the next shade is called My Whole Heart. Ooh, she looks very pigmented. And you guys know this is one of my uh, two required shades for every palette. I need something light and creamy to use as a highlight or to use to blend other things out or whatever. And then I need another either dark brown or a dark black. And this palette has both. Love it. Not super exciting. It's just a creamy shade. But again, it's a standard shade that I require personally to, you know, put together any little look I want to do. So that is the shade My Whole Heart. The next shade is called Copper Boxes. This looks pretty. I love how kind of light and medium this brown is. Almost more of like a deeper tan than like a brown brown. I like try to describe colors too literally. You guys know this. Ooh, she's pretty though. You guys know what I would call this a puppy brown. I don't know why, but these browns make me think of puppies and it's a little puppy brown. Oh God, what a beautiful transition shade. Oh, doge. My God, that is gorgeous. It is so rich. You will notice the fallout on the face. And can I tell you something interesting I just learned? I told you guys about this. I, um, on Twitter and on Instagram, I did a little masterclass by Patrick Ta. ColourPop was hosting it and he was teaching and I was like geeking out the whole time. And he actually said in his masterclass that fallout from shadows is a good thing and that we need to stop associating it with it being bad or powdery. You want it to have fallout because that shows that it is actually blendable and that you can use it lightly or in a deep way or a highly concentrated way like you want it to have that movement which I never thought was the case but hearing like someone like Patrick Toss say like you want shadow to have fallout was kind of eye-opening to me and it kind of blew me away so I'm trying to stop thinking fallout as like a bad thing because it means it's gonna blend and work for you really well so I'm an idiot basically but yeah <laughs> there is the shade it is so pretty I love this color next up is the shade golden ticket this looks really pretty we're gonna first apply it dry and then I'll go over with a little water to see how it looks like that. This is the Sigma E60 brush. I really like that this is a pale gold. I'm not super into like yellow, yellow, orangey gold. I love this tone of gold though. I feel like it's a little classier, a little more chic. And you guys know uh, to set my lids before or to prep my lids before I do these eye swatches, I do a little bit of concealer and a little bit of setting powder. So for metallic shades, it's not always the best indication of how they look um, because it, it's really not the proper base for a metallic shade. So though it's kind of like eh right now, I think once we wet this, obviously that's where the magic's gonna come in. So let's give her a go. Let me wet my brush with a little setting spray. Ah, there she is. Oh my goodness. This could be used like as a face highlighter. That is so, 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 so glowy. Oh my goodness. This is perfect. This is exactly what I would want for a gold shade for myself. Because again, I'm just not super into the super warm golds. This is beautiful though. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna love this around Christmas time. I really am. So there is the shade Golden Ticket. Next color. Oh my God, this color is a lot like my shirt today. Eh, eh, yeah. So the next shade is called, <laughs> is it? <laughs> oh my God, it's called Moo Point. Christy is killing it. She's literally using like all my favorite parts from all my favorite shows. This is so funny. <laughs> it's a Moo Point. <laughs> oh, that's rich. That is good. Oh my dear God, I love this color. It reminds me of my wedding and my wedding bouquet. I had colors like this. I can't say my wedding bouquet without almost crying because I left it at the venue and they threw it away. I'm like distraught over it today. I mean, I was wasted. Like I didn't mean to leave it. I just forgot it and then they threw it away. And it had this like beautiful long, you know, fabric on it that I wanted to save. And ooh, I'm getting emotional. I gotta stop. I gotta move on. <laughs> it is what it is. It's gone. It's gone. It is so, so, so 
so, so, so pretty. I love colors like this. It's very light, yummy, mauve but pinky in there. It's happy, it's romantic, it's gorgeous. So there is the shade Moo Point. Next up, we have the shade B. Ooh, smoky, smoky brown. You do, oh my God, I you know I love a dark brown. I live for it. This just reminds me of like, just like coffee grounds. It is so pretty. Like I need to go make an espresso right now just from seeing this color. Look how delicious this is. Because the thing is, it's rich. It's deep, but it's also rich, which you don't always get with these espresso shades. Sometimes it's just kind of like, more oftentimes than not, it's almost more cool toned. It's a little more empty. It's not, there's not a lot of life to it when it gets this deep, but you can see the warm tones in here. This is freaking stunning. I am so sure that it will not show up on camera as just breathtaking as it is in person. It is deep, but there's warmth to it. There's life to it. It's beautiful. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Hands down favorite shade I've tried so far. Oh my god, obsessed with this color. I'm gonna be using this color a lot, a lot. I have not been this jazzed about a brown in a long, long time. It is so freaking rich. I can't get over it. It's stunning. Oh my god, stunning. I would buy the whole palette just for this brown. I'm telling you, there's not a lot of browns like this brown. This is very unique. Obsessed. There's B. It's beautiful. What else can I say? Freaking love it. The next shade is called Told You. By the way, sorry, I'm getting a little janky under the eyes. You guys know if you've been here with me before for a live swatching video, like the farther we go, the more really just gross I look. <laughs> okay, ooh, oh, she's pretty. Yummy, yummy, medium warm brown. Yes, yes, yes. It's like she made this freaking palette for me. These are like all my go-to shades. And I know they're just, you know, they're nothing wild, but the tones, the richness, the depth, the matte, the fact that they're matte, just my God. Christy was really thinking of us. I can tell she really put a lot of effort into this palette. She really thought about what people would grab to. What are people gonna use? Not to mention it being double-sided. So you have the fun colors, plus just great everyday wear colors. This is mwah. Chef's kiss, beautiful, warm, sexy, just mmm. Love it, Christy, so good. So that is the shade I told you. And lastly, on the more, I don't wanna say neutral, but the not so fun party side, <laughs> we have You're Not My Real Dad. <laughs> She is an icon. This looks, oh my God. I love to be so much. I don't know that any other color in this palette could beat the shade B for me. So it's hard to compare this brown. I mean, it is so pretty. You know, I love, oh God, I love my dark browns. Oh my God. And this is like a black and espresso hybrid. She is sexy. Don't mind the fallout, doesn't matter. Patrick Ta specifically told me fallout doesn't matter. Obviously, if you're gonna be doing an all over the eye dark look like this, do your foundation last and then it's no big deal. The color is so rich though, so beautiful, so pigmented. I know I look like an idiot. It's probably hard for you to focus, but just remember this, like watch. See if this can be easily wiped away and then apply your foundation and boom, baby, beautiful. It's worth it for this pigment. It is worth it. So there is the shade. You're not my real dad, you guys. Let me know what you think of this side of the palette. You know who has my heart right here, but they're all gorgeous and easy to use. I mean, I like in this palette, you could have pretty simple everyday looks or you could punch it up with these brighter shades here too. So yeah, I'm gonna remove this and honestly, I'm gonna throw in a new camera battery because mine is dying and then, <laughs> And then, and then we are getting to the party side of the palette. Hello, Garden State. Ugh, I'm so stoked. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, are you guys ready for this? I am nervous. I'm not nervous. I just know I'm gonna look like a buffoon by the end of the video. <laughs> and we're starting off with a bold red. This is gonna be some major lid stainage in this video. I'm assuming these are bright colors. I'm gonna go in easy with a small brush. This is the Sigma Jordan Liberty brush. It's the eyeshader brush. Is there an E50 or something like, nope, just the Jordan Liberty Sigma Beauty eyeshader brush. And we're going into Flavor Town. Won't you take me to Flavor Town? I'm making tacos tonight. I'm gonna be in Flavor Town. Okay, wow. Oh my God, that is bright, bright, bright red. I'm going in with a smaller brush to try to control it so it's not all over my face. And that's working really, really well. Just FYI for, you know, application at home. Look how freaking bright that is though. Wow, I'm actually a little surprised. Pleasantly surprised, pure minerals. I didn't know that you got it like that, girl. I had no idea. My goodness, holy shit. <laughs> That is so freaking red. That is beautiful, you guys. Wow. I was nervous for the shade. I'm gonna be honest. I get nervous with red shadows. Sometimes I think they're a little hard for brands to pull off if like color isn't their thing, but this is 
amazing. Super, super fun. There is the shade Flavor Town. The next shade is called Garden State, and this means so much to me for so many reasons. Okay, let's just take it as I ramble on forever. It, first of all, looks gorgeous. Garden State has meant so much to me, that movie. A, because it came out around the time I was actually moving to New Jersey from South Dakota, and it really helped with that transition for me. It made me a little more excited, a little less scared to move. Secondly, you guys know I have epilepsy, and so does Natalie Portman's character in the movie. And, you know, obviously it was never anything I related to when I've been watching the movie all these years, and then when I got diagnosed with epilepsy, that was crazy. And so Garden State just meant a lot to me. Like, it, I really, I don't know, it's like there's so many parts in that movie you know relating to that that I just I have to deal with like things I don't even talk about like her character uh in the movie has to wear kind of like this padded helmet and I have that option for me it's not required to wear that specifically because the majority of my seizures happen during the nighttime I've only had I think four or five in the daytime altogether which sounds like a lot but it's not a lot for me but there's little things like now like for example earlier this year I went to a birthday party and everyone was outside sitting around uh the pool area it was still a little cold but it was just it, they have a nice backyard and they have like the heaters or whatever so we're all sitting out there around the pool I had to bring like towels and things to lay behind my head and so like that's a hard adjustment for me it's a little embarrassing but that movie helps me not be so embarrassed it's just it is what it is and the things that Natalie Portman said in that movie like I replay in my head several times throughout the week when I have to you know do another thing that I've adjusted my life to fit epilepsy in you know what I mean I know I'm not good at wording things, but it just, it makes me feel good. I really relate to the character. And so I love, I love Garden State for so many reasons. And, and there's this line, it's like one of my favorites and it means so much to me, but Natalie Portman's character says something like, I don't say I don't cry. You know, sometimes I do cry, uh, but in between I laugh and I look forward to a good cry. It feels pretty good. And that like sums me up. I cry every now and then for this thing I have to deal with now, which is just feels so unfair because I didn't have to deal with it my entire life until now, which is insane. Um, and I cry in moments where I have to like, I realize, oh, I have to bring things to protect my head just in case if I'm going to be sitting around concrete or cement or anything crazy. But then also you got to remember to laugh about it or it's no good, right? <laughs> or you cry and it feels good and then you move on. Anyway, I've been talking about Garden State for way too long. This is a beautiful emerald shade. <laughs> this is the perfect shade to have the name Garden State. So Robbie to Christie, girl, huge thumbs up and hi. It is an emerald beauty. Absolutely gorgeous. Next, we are getting into a purple. This shade is called Tribute. I like this purple. You know how I feel about purple. I think I've made that very, very clear <laughs> in the past few months. It actually became a bit of a drama on my channel about me and the color purple. That's the type of drama we have over here on That Girl Shea XO. It's about color. <laughs> not about anything else. It's about whether or not I like the color purple. And I don't like it, but I love, love this color. I mean, hi. Are you seeing the vibrancy of this? It's crazy. It's rich. It's a wow moment. It's vibrant. It's what I like to see. I mean, oh my god. Pure Minerals. I didn't know you had it like that, girl. Beautiful. Next up, we have the shade Am I Orange? Oh, yes, you are, girlfriend. <laughs> You are orange. Mm hmm She is beautiful. So rich and vibrant. And you guys, I'm not using like a really, really wet base or anything. So that really speaks for the shadows. I do a little layer of foundation um, or concealer and then I set it with translucent powder. I set it where to go with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. So it's pretty set in, you know what I mean? I don't like to leave my base really wet to kind of like aid in the shadows looking brighter than maybe they will be. I try to keep it pretty, you know, I don't know. But for me, knowing that, I'm like, damn, these shadows are bright. That is fun. I don't know that I like love orange shadow, but that's fun. It's making me think about orange shadow, which I never really do. <laughs> so there is the shade Am I Orange. Next up, we have Cafe Disco. <laughs> Respect the lay. And she's a shimmer shimmer. Pretty. That looks like a pale pinky diamond color. Again, I'm just applying it with a dry brush first. Yeah, very pale, kind of pinky diamondy color. That's the best way. I would know how to describe it. Now let me wet my brush. I just use a little bit of setting spray for that. Boom, baby. That is icy, icy metallicness. Between the 
two. The two shimmers, I definitely prefer the softer gold one. This one here I think looks better. This one just shows up a little too icy on me. It's great though for like an inner corner highlight. You can use it on the brow bone. You can even use it on the face as a highlighter, just like the other one, depending on your skin tone, of course. It's a little too icy for me to wear all over the lid. It's really not my vibe, but there's a million other ways you can use it. So there is the shade Cafe Disco, or like Crappy Disco. I'm just kidding. I don't mean that about the shade. It's from it's from the office. Anyway. Next up, we are swatching Sun side effect right here oh she's a hot hot pink she's a super pink super pink she's super pinky Mom. that was the lamest thing i've ever done wow 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 it is so hot pink oh my god this is fun imagine this palette around halloween time if you like to play with color or just i mean just in general it doesn't have to be halloween time if you love to experiment and just have fun with makeup this is a fun palette look at that pink oh my god i like can't stop i just keep putting on more and more and more wowza 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 that is so pretty christy this is so fun girlfriend oh my god there is side effect it is bright it is vivacious it is awesome love it and little fyi side effect did stain a little bit for sure so next we're going into the shade dandelion who doesn't love dandelions like you know like i remember like my dad would send me out in the yard when i was young to pick the dandelion weeds and i thought i was just picking flowers because they're so beautiful but like i guess they're a weed i would have dandelions like everywhere like i don't even care they make me happy. <laughs> I love this color. I think this shadow's a little dry. I wish it had a little more oomph. I love the color, but it's almost like the formula's not quite there. Or, I mean, yellows are hard to do. They're really hard to do. I think it's really great for what it is. They're definitely not easy. And honestly, I have yet to find many. The only brand I've ever seen get a yellow, like, super right is ColourPop. And they're ColourPop. Like, let's not kid ourselves here. It's gorgeous. It's very, very rich. It's just a little too powdery for my liking. I think if you were to throw down like a NYX eyeshadow crayon, it would be no issues at all. I probably need a thicker, more wet base to really get this shade to pop. Like I said, I just use concealer and translucent powder to set it, so, or to prep my lid for the shadow. So I think with a more tacky, like a, almost like a shadow stick base, you'll have no problems at all. So I would just use a little more base than your average concealer or foundation base uh, for this particular eyeshadow. So there is the shade Dandelion. The next shade is called Hurtful. Look at this little guy. This is a gorgeous blue. I love that it's not like cobalt or it's not like neon. It's almost a little, I would call it a dingy shade in the best of ways. It's a little more unique of a blue. I live for dingy colors, so please know when I say that, it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's icky dingy. I love dingy. Oh yes, yes. It's almost like an emerald and blue hybrid. It actually kind of reminds me of a nail polish uh, by KL Polish. Do you know what I'm talking about? I feel like Kathleen had a blue at one point that looks very similar to this. Woo, she is vibrant. Wow, wow, wow. This is one of my favorite shades in the palette for sure. It's unique. It's not the standard blue we see all the freaking time. It is gorgeous. So there is the shade Hurtful. I am so sad, you guys, because we are on the last color. And this is just a white. This is called Lumos right here. Oh, she is white. I mean, you could just do so much with mixing, you know, all the different shades in this palette. You have a lot, a lot, a lot of fun stuff to work with. I can't wait to see what Christy creates around fall time and Halloween time with this. I always love her Halloween tutorials and I think she's going to do some awesome things. I mean, simple, beautiful. It's a white matte shade, but obviously just such a great standard color to have along with all these fun, super colorful shades. So you can layer, you can mix your own, you can really experiment and make something super awesome. I mean, my god i can't i listen i can't lie to you you guys you know my heart is with these beautiful browns my favorite side of the palette is this palette because i know i can use it every single day and be super happy but if you want to spice it up how nice is it that you just flip it to the other side you don't even have to worry about losing a palette well don't lose the whole thing but <laughs> you don't have to go grabbing for a colorful palette you have your neutrals and your colorfuls together and that is freaking cool christy congratulations i also have her lashes here i'll be honest i'm not gonna put them on today you guys I don't I'm just gross after these live swatching videos my eyes hurt so bad always um and just putting false lashes on right now would just be the worst thing for me in the world but let's take a look at them at least 
So this pair is Can't Be Bothered. Also the packaging matches the palette. It is beautiful, just every inch of it. It is so fancy. It looks like something that should be sold at Sephora. And these are 3D cruelty-free luxe lashes. Look at that holographicness in there. Those are a big girl, big. And then we also have the style Lovely. And these do look lovely. And just every detail. I love that this has the rose gold backing and the rose gold ribbon. And this one has the holographic backing and the silver ribbon. Like it's just, it's all such nice details. You can tell Christy put her heart and soul into this. I'm still looking at all the little graphics. I just love them. You just smile. You just smile. It's good stuff. So yeah, you guys, that is it for my life swatches of the Raw Beauty Christy and Pure Minerals collaboration. Let me know what you guys think of this palette. Did you pick it up? Are you going to pick it up with the next restock? Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, huge congratulations, Christy. We love you. We all support you so, so much. I think that was so apparent and so nice when this launched. And even if it was a little bumpy, you can just tell like as a community, we love her, we support her and it feels good. It almost feels like the old days of YouTube. I don't know. It just, it wasn't even my launch and it was like one of my favorite days recently. So thank you so much for sending this, Christy. I am so, so grateful. And thank you to Pure Cosmetics as well. And most importantly, thank you guys for being here today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more eye swatching videos. Also double check to make sure that you are subscribed. As we all know, YouTube loves to unsubscribe everybody and lie about it and say it's not an issue, even though all of us are like, this is a huge freaking issue. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thatgirlshayxo. Also shout out to everyone who witnessed my giant fight with Keemstar this week. What a bozo. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!